Here I have almost the same program from the slides. I have the numbers from function that creates an infinite list. And I've changed the example slightly to make it 5 and up, because I'm counting from the number 5. Now if I try to run this program in plate, uh, it's going to run forever and it's going to use up all the memory, so I better not do that. Let's stop it. This program is useful only in a lazy language, and I can switch to a lazy language by changing the hash lang line to add hash colon lazy. This is something that works only with the hash lang plate language. Um, and now when I run this, it won't create the whole infinite list. It'll just create it on demand as I ask for it. For example, if I ask for, um, if I take five and up and ask for the tenth item from the list, then I can run this program. And it's just going to show me the tenth item, which is 15. I could ask for the hundredth item, and that would force it to do a little more work to get to 105. I could ask for the hundred thousandth item, and that will ask it to do significantly more work to get the, the hundred thousandth and fifth item. It only does as much work as I demand from the program. Let's look at some simpler examples to see more what lazy means. So let's start again with a plate lazy program. And let's start out with a boring definition of f which adds x to 1 and I call f on plus 3, 4. Now in a lazy language this example is going to do exactly what it would do in the eager version of late. It just gives us the number 8. But where the eager version would reduce this to f of 7 and then substitute in the 7 to get 7 plus 1 and then get 8, this lazy version did something different. The lazy version simplified to um, plus, plus 3, 4. It substituted the plus 3, 4 into the body of f before continuing, and then we needed the plus 3, 4, so then we got plus 7, 1, and got 8. We get to the same result either way, but the difference was when we evaluated the plus 3, 4. And you can't tell the difference by running the simple program. But let's try something a little bit different. Uh, let me change this program to just always return 6. Now when I run the program, because I have test coverage enabled, what you'll see is the plus 3, 4 was never evaluated. The environment can tell me that uh, we never needed this x, and so we never bothered computing the result. In fact, I could change this argument to an error, like division by 0, and we will still get a 6 out. And we still will have not evaluated the division, um, whereas if I ran this in an eager language, then we would get an error and divide by 0. The laziness of this language is pervasive, so even, let's say if we go back to the infinite list example, and I write my own function alternates, which takes an infinite list, and it cons is on the first item of the list, and the alternates of not just the rest, but the rest of the list, then I can run a list ref on the alternates of 5 and up, and what we'll find out is that it's skipping every, every other number, so we will get up to 200,000 and, and 5 instead of just 100,000. So the point is that even when we write our own function that has its own infinite recursive calls, that function call will be evaluated only as far, far as necessary to get the answer that we demanded.